Planet Dolan. What planet has an invisible ring 200 times wider than itself? Where can you find volcanoes that shoot out water and ammonia? Here are 10 of the most bizarre things found right here in our solar system. I'm Melissa, and today I'll be your narrator. Number 10. On Saturn's North Pole sits a storm shaped like a perfect hexagon. It's not round like Jupiter's red spot. It's a hexagon with edges. And that's not the only weird thing. From 2013 to 2017, it completely changed color from blue to golden. And nobody knows why, though some believe it may be due to a change of seasons. Number 9. 1950 DA was discovered in 1950, hence the name. One of its most notable features is its rapid rotation. It completes a rotation in about two hours. And since it isn't a solid rock, but rather a collection of smaller bits held together by a force, scientists don't know how to quite explain. But you may know this asteroid as the one some believe will wipe out all life on Earth in the year 2880. But that's not really true. First off, the current chances of a collision in 2880 are calculated at about 1 in 300. And even if it did make impact, it probably isn't big enough to wipe out all life, though it would be devastating. Number 8. Astronomers can't quite agree what Chiron is. It orbits the Sun between Saturn and Uranus, and was initially called an asteroid. Further studies showed it had a tail, and exhibited signs of a comet, but it's also big enough to meet the requirements of a dwarf planet like Pluto. But unlike Pluto, Chiron appears to have rings, making it one of the only solid objects with rings in the solar system. Number 7. When 90 Antiope was discovered in 1866, it was believed to be a single, large asteroid in the outer asteroid belt. It wasn't until 2000 that it was discovered to be a twin asteroid. The two bodies orbit each other so closely, it's almost impossible to see them separate. The centers of the asteroids are separated by only about 171 kilometers, and they rotate around each other in tandem. Number 6. Neptune's moon Triton is… just weird. For starters, it is the only known moon in the solar system with a retrograde orbit. That is, it orbits Neptune in the opposite order as Neptune's rotation. Its surface is covered in a combination of nitrogen ice, water ice, and frozen carbon dioxide, otherwise known as dry ice. Triton is also one of the solar system's only geologically active moons. It has geysers all over the surface that spew out water and ammonia, rather than liquid rock. This is known as chirovolcanism. Number 5. Our solar system, and indeed the entire Milky Way, generally orbits in a flat, disc-like pattern. So it's rare to see anything that doesn't follow that pattern. But in 2017, an object was discovered that broke that mold so hard, NASA gave it a new object classification. The letter I in its designation for interstellar. It curved around the sun, passed close to Earth, and sped back out of the solar system, most likely to never be seen again. It was the first known instance of an interstellar object in our solar system. The object was similar to an asteroid, but its path indicates that it must have originated outside of our solar system. Number 4. Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. But by modern designation, it is too big to be considered an asteroid. That means Ceres is the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system. But that's not the weird part. Based on its composition, Ceres appears to have once been home to a global ocean. And perhaps as a result, signs of organic life have been detected in Ceres craters. Whether that means life formed on Ceres aeons ago, during its formative years, or just recently, is still a mystery. Is it still there? We don't know for sure. But we do know that the life appears to be native to Ceres, not delivered via comet. Number 3. That's no… Wait, is that a moon? Mimas is just one of Saturn's many, many moons, and it has been battered by asteroids for years. So much so, that it happens to have one giant Death Star-like crater on the side. And Mimas wasn't photographed in detail until 1980, three years after the release of Star Wars. So believe it or not, the resemblance between Mimas and the Death Star is actually a coincidence. No worries about Mimas being a super weapon though. It pretty much just looks like a lifeless moon. Or at least, that's what they want you to think! Number 2. Staying on the topic of Saturn's moons, Iapetus is another weird one. Like Mimas, it is pockmarked with a number of impact craters, though none of them quite have the same Death Star look as Mimas. But what it does have is an odd two-toned surface, part of it bright and reddish, part of it dark. 
It also isn't really round. It features a massive ridge nearly all the way along its equator that bulges the moon out and ultimately makes it look like a walnut. Number 1. Saturn's rings are one of the most recognizable features in the solar system, but until 2009, we'd missed one. The Phoebe ring is actually the reason for the odd two-tone coloration on Aeapetus. It is a massive ring of loosely collected black dust, and it isn't exactly like the rest of Saturn's rings. For starters, the ring is about 200 times bigger across than Saturn itself. It is gigantic. But aside from just being huge and composed of completely different stuff than Saturn's other rings, it's tilted in a completely different direction, and most likely orbits in the opposite direction of both Saturn itself and its other rings. Because the dust is sparsely distributed and dark, you wouldn't even be able to see the ring if you were in the middle of it. Astronomers were only able to spot it using infrared imaging. What? Don't you don't. Did you know that we have a countdown book featuring some of our best scripts on sale now? Links down below for the physical and ebook versions. Crazy stuff, huh guys? Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and I'll catch you guys next time.